Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Twilight Princess. The last time we began our journey through the Temple of Time and Good Lord. I checked the map between episodes. This place is... Oh, shit! Okay, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh, it's bad. How did they not hit me? I don't even know, but I'll take it. Yeah, this place is eight freaking floors. I think we're on like five, maybe six now, so we're most of the way there. But like, oh, this place is gigantic. Guys, take this dude out from here, because I do not want to deal with that weird Dalek thing up in its grill with all these dudes spinning around. I guess we just leave that room? I don't know. This is a lovely room of death. Evening, gentlemen. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so I... I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with the dudes with the skull. Maybe they just look different, but you don't find them differently. But, uh... Yeah, you know, like I say, oh, what the hell? That's a rolling pin of death. And a swinging blade. Wait a minute. This is Sans Fortress. Lizard men everywhere, big swinging blade. What the hell? And we got a smoky. Good. I guess maybe Dark Souls just copied this dungeon. <laughs> but, you know, made it significantly tougher and more traps and such. But, yeah, this, uh... This is very similar. I kind of like it. I guess we have a weight, assumably we need that. Don't know what we need it for, but, uh... Oh, there's a pressure plate there. Well, I guess that explains it. And no doubt it turns off that. Yes, it does. I didn't mean to stand on that. That's really freaking annoying. And we get... God damn it! Just go on the thing. Thank you. We have to sit through the cutscene again. Oh, two seconds of it. Okay, so... Oh, there's more of these dudes. Pressure plate and do the ginormous weird stuff. Oh my god, I hate you. I hate you. Come here. Thank you. There's an awful lot of pots here. Ah. Probably for the pressure plates. It's trying to destroy all of them. But, uh. Yeah, I don't know. So we get. Exactly. I was gonna say, we're gonna kill all of them because it seems to be a running theme that if you kill the weird tick thingies, you get some kind of booty. And I like booty. Okay, so let's see if we can try and blow these dudes up again since it worked so well the last couple of times. Right, I can't really get behind. God damn it. Okay, he's dead. And he hit me. What a dick. Hey, buddy. Boom, son. There we go. Now get out of my sights. Okay, let's get back to full HP. And look. Oh, I opened the gates. I didn't even realize there was a gate there, but there we go. Okay, so what's in here? Money? Heart piece? More money. You know, a lot of money in this dungeon. Anything in the pots? No. It's disappointing. So wait a minute, what the hell is the pressure plate for? I guess we'll activate it to see what it does? I have no idea. What do you do? Uh, oh, you lower that. Why? I mean, I guess we want to do that, but... Why? Because I can get out either way. Strange. Very strange. Well, whatever, let's carry on. Oh. Big dark room, big circular dark room. This is probably going to be the mini boss. This excites me. Yep, we're doomed. Oh, well, we found our statue. Oh, there's a big fella just standing there. Hey, hey, buddy. Yeah. Kinda saw that coming. Well, shit. This guy looks really tanky. Maybe this is one of those enemies that we have to use Mortal Draw on? I don't know. We'll try fighting him without it for now, just to see if we can. But yeah, he seems like really heavily armored. Oh. I just smashed a bunch of his armor off. What did I do? Oh, okay. Is it because I hit him, like, as a counterattack after his strike? Buddy, what the hell are you doing? Let's try it. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that seems to be the tank again. Just, yeah, nothing else seems to do anything. Just wait for him to strike and then smack the shit out of him. Oh, now you're going to get it. One second, the game is chugging like hell. My god, game, work with me here. And... Jump attack! Damn it. Although maybe we could do it just to see his attack and didn't do a damn thing. Can I help him? No, I can't help him. Because I can't actually even shield bash him. Oh, I'm actually blocking those attacks. Good. He hasn't actually hit me yet. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Get you. Oh, wow, I did. Oh, he's not dead. Ha <laughs> 
Oh, he throws away one sword and's like, haha, I had another one all along. Okay, so what do we do with this guy? Come for the drawer! Tried, failed. Okay, game, what the hell are you doing? Stop slowing down. This is an epic fight and you're ruining it. Why do you ruin everything? Oh. Okay, well, it looked like we hit him there, but I don't know what I did. Oh, okay. So the, uh, the back slice seems to put him off balance, and then... Oh, you're very tricksy, aren't you? Yeah, the back slice seems to put him off balance, and then we can just combo him. I... Uh, damn! You got messed up! Is he dead? Okay, he's dead. He's turning black. When they turn black, <laughs> they're dead. Okay, do... Oh, I thought we'd get his sword. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense we have the Master Sword, but... The way he dropped it, it looked like that was gonna be our reward! So maybe that was gonna somehow be the dungeon item. I have no idea what the hell the dungeon item's gonna be. Usually I can guess. I mean, I didn't guess the ball and chain, but... Who would've done? And we get... You got the Dominion Rod. This amazing rod can infuse ancient statues with life. Oh my god. I bet that's how we move him. Can A make give life and light to a statue? A statue brought to life will move like its master. Yeah, okay. So, ah, there's a. I bet we have to bring him to the bell. I don't know how, what the hell that's gonna do. Maybe he can ring it? It looks like he's got a giant hammer. I have no idea. This makes a degree of sense to me. He can maybe ring the bells. Then. I, I don't know. What would that do? I have no idea. <laughs> Either way, screw it. We're gonna just, you know, see what we can do. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah! Okay, so maybe we just have to get him to stand under the bell. Because, you know, he ain't gonna be ringing that. It's way too high. So, oh, actually, maybe it's kind of not. Do I... Okay, I do stand you there. So what does that do? Oh, I get it. It's gonna teleport him between the rooms with the bells. Because otherwise, you know, he couldn't fit through the door. Wait a minute. Does that mean I've got to escort him all the way down to the bottom? Because there's bells in like every freaking room. Oh good lord. I totally do, don't I? Holy shit. So we got to go all the way back down with this guy. That's insane. Can I power you up? Oh yeah, good. I was gonna say, he's got like a weird core in its chest, kind of like he does. That's awesome, but I don't know why I need to do that. Here's a question, how do I get out of here? That's a really good question. Can I power you up? I'm guessing no. Because for a start, you're an enemy, and second of all, you don't have that weird core thing. That's a no. Well, can I blow you up from here? Because killing those two was what opened this gate. So clearly we have to do that again. But, okay, well, apparently that works. I'll take it. Did you block that? You blocked that, you son of a bitch. So what do you do if you get here and you have no bomb arrows? I guess you'd have to use Okoko to teleport out. I guess you have to get Okoko, because she, uh, you know, she ambushed us when we entered. So yeah, I guess maybe you could do that and teleport back with bombs. I don't, I don't really know. Okay, so, now I understand why we want to lower this, because otherwise he can actually leave the room. Now it all makes sense. At the time, it didn't make no freaking sense to me. Okay, so, need to bring you up here, and then we need to probably shoot that again. Well, I guess we could just walk over and smack it, but I'm lazy. But, uh, yeah, we need to take out the pots. Just to shoot it, we got plenty of freaking arrows. And we can bring him back up here. But, yeah, this is, uh... Don't get me wrong, this is very cool. I like this. And it's very interesting the way these are rooms that we've already been into, but the puzzle in order to get him through the room is going to be a little bit different. In fact, somewhat vastly different to the way we actually went through the room in the reverse order. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'm guessing we want to stand him on this pressure plate. There we go. Because otherwise we can get through. That's very cool, I like that. This is what I'm saying. This is actually very well designed, the fact that you go through these rooms originally as Link, you fight your way through them, you kill all the enemies, and then... Oh, good lord. Wait a minute, did he block that? Oh, shit! I think he blocked it. D do you block... Okay, you do. Okay, good. That makes this a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, like, you, throw, you fight your way through to him, and then you come back in the reverse order, and then you have to do things differently to escort him through the building. I like that, man. It's probably going to be a little bit tedious, let's be honest here, but it's cool nonetheless. I foresee a problem. 
We clearly need to raise that white thing in the ground so that we can get him to the bill. But how do we do that? Because there's no pressure plate or anything around here unless there's something I'm missing. I mean, there must be something I'm missing. Does, like, are these somehow keeping it held down? Do I do I take you off? Do, do you raise it? What the hell? How did that miss? What are you doing, Link? Do you raise it? No. Well, what do I do then? Hello, Bell. I, ne I need to bring my statue to you. I have no idea. I mean, if we leave, it's just going to reset the statue, surely. So... Oh, wait a minute. Is that a pressure plate under the weird Dalek thing? It looks like one. So maybe he's, like, sitting on a pressure plate and activating it. Okay. Well, if that's the case, how the bloody hell do I move him? I have no idea. Can I just destroy you with a ball and chain? No, it just goes right through you. Really? Uh... I'm really stumped. Because that, that looks like a pressure plate to me. Can I, like, sense it? No. I don't know what to do. Wait, what? I can attack? I swear to God, I tried like all the buttons. Apparently, it's the same buttons as the stuff. That didn't make any sense to me. Okay, well, that changes everything. I'm guessing we can now crush this thing. I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh, yeah. Because I'm gonna get rid of these spiky things first, because frankly, I just hate them. Dang. There we go. Okay, so can I crush you? Yes, I can. Okay, oh, we need to have it held down. Well, conveniently, I have a weight right here. This doesn't make any sense. Why would he be sitting on that and not hold it down? He's sitting on top of it. Well, whatever. E either way. <laughs> either way, at least I figured it out. Albeit completely accidentally because I was mashing buttons. But yeah, I figured you would be able to attack with him, but I tried like the A button, but that just cancels it. I tried the B button, that does the same damn thing. Like, I, I have no idea. But uh, apparently you just press the same button you have the staff equipped to. Makes a degree of sense. I just... It's not something I would have assumed. Either way, luckily I accidentally figured that out. Because, uh, yeah. Could have taken quite some time. Bottom meshing for the win. Okay, so we got him out here. Oh, shit, I just realized. <laughs> this is the room with the scales. He's very heavy. Yeah. That's gonna add... Oh, God. It's gonna make this quite complicated. So, oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Now with this rod, we can no doubt bring that extra weight down from on top... Oh, God damn it! From on top of that pillar. So, we probably need to put just a shit... Really? What the hell? Probably just need to put a shit ton of weights on this uh, other scale thing over here. To bounce it out so we can get him on top of this. If you know, I can never get this thing on here. Which apparently I can't. Son of a bitch. Oh my god! Can you just not do it from this direction? Am I too close? What the hell is going on? Oh, finally! Good lord! <laughs> you know what? That was probably my fault, but holy shit, that was irritating as all hell. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so if I stand on this, it evens them out, so I can bring you on here, and then... Well, that kind of works, I didn't... Ah. So yeah, now I need to put the weights back again. And... Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Apparently I am real bad chucking weights on this thing. Being close and death doesn't help. So let's try being far away. There we go, okay. So just don't stand so damn close. Pay attention, brain. Good lord, let's try from here. Perfect. Okay, so it's not that bad, I'm just a goddamn moron. Big surprise. So yeah, I think we just need to put a butt ton of weights on there. So we can uh, even it out and bring him over here. I can still hear that pole. God, I hate that guy. So, you know that we can bring these down here and do it. So, yeah, this, see, it's actually seeming quite easy compared to... I, I thought this was going to be like some really complicated balancing act. I mean, maybe it's... I don't think it will be. I think it's literally just a case of getting all of these weights on the other side that should be enough to balance it out. I mean, if it's not, how the hell else could we possibly do it? Uh, other than using our own body weights. Which I guess we might have to do. I kind of had to do that already, though. Oh, that's apparently enough. 
Well, all right, then how did that miss you? Went to him. The stuff got something like funky aiming going on. Like sometimes you use it, it just goes in completely a random ass direction. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna have to ask that you don't get stuck on the wall. I think being slightly behind him is probably the best way to control him. And I just realized. <laughs> we can totally pound the shell of these guys. Come here, you. I, yo, I, apparently I'm just gonna miss. Really? I kinda need to kill this thing. Oh my god, I hate everything. I hate everything. I don't hate that though. Okay, everything just die. My god. I don't think we're gonna need to kill them, but it's just gonna be easier to get him in the bell if we do. Plus, let's be honest, here, it's kinda fun. Just destroying the weird tick things. I, I still don't know what they are. I like weird tick spiders. Gonna creep me the hell out. Okay, give me all that cash money. There we go. Unfortunately, we're missing some HP. But let's be honest here, probably not a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. And there we go, he has been belled and we got pushed away. Let us leave this horrible room and never, never return. If we have to return, I'm gonna be very upset. Put it that way. Okay! Ah. I remember this one. This one's gonna be probably, in fact... Was this the one where we had to shoot through the holes? In fact, no it wasn't. It was the, uh, the one before this. Ah, I just realized there's that, uh, the pressure plate behind the weird electrical fence. No doubt we can actually activate that now. Because, uh, we can probably shoot the little stony things through the fence, control them, put one on the pressure plates. Maybe we can put him on it. I don't know, but yeah, I think we definitely want him out of there, otherwise he's going to get trapped. Can I hit this through the gates? Look kind of like I can. Yes, I can. I like that. More games need to do that. When you have to activate something, and there's like invisible walls and shit blocking your arrows or bullets or whatever. Can't stand that. God, I hate it. So yeah. It looks like we can probably just shoot through there and pull one of the little ones onto the pressure plates. Or maybe we can do it with him. I guess it probably doesn't really matter. Unless we need to go in there. I don't know. Do I need to shoot that thing? I'm thinking no, not yet, because it's probably going to close the uh, the gate on the right hand side. I don't think we've been in there, so it might be booty or something. Or you know, let's try moving this dude just so it's easier, so we can just move the big guy wherever we want. There we go. Okay, so is there indeed booty in here? Yes, there is. Good. You think I would have seen that from the other side, but apparently not. And we got a heart piece. Okay, so only one more to go in this dungeon. Three more. I'm getting another heart container. We got a bunch of money. Good. And money in here. That's, that's it. There we go. Yes, there is. Okay. Come with me, Stone Guardian. We have much to do. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess we can just bring him out here and then shoot the thing. For some reason, I was like, wait a minute. We're trapped. No. No, we're not, Brain. Don't panic. And no, I don't know how I missed that thing twice either. I'm not going to question it. I am a piss poor shot. Okay, so it looks to me like we just need to take him in here and put him in the bell, and then we should be home free. I said, I said we should be home free. Get on the bell, you son of a bitch. Oh, I wait a minute, saying anything from the right bell. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's, uh, yeah, that's where we came from. Wow. Sometimes, man, I swear to God. I don't think I have brain damage, but it's questionable. It really is. Okay, Can, yeah, apparently rolling does, uh... I, th I thought rolling would cancel it, but it doesn't, and it makes him go quicker, and this amuses me. What are we going to do now? I don't see anything I can shoot. Uh... Well, shit. I don't know. Unless he can break it? I, I guess maybe he can? Oh, he can... God damn it! Well, that means I probably didn't need to do any of that switch stuff in the last room, because he could probably break all of those walls. Oh, and apparently there's a thing here we missed. I guess this must be the compass? Yes, it is! I don't know how I missed that. Like, I really don't know, but whatever we got, it's... About late than never, you know? Okay, so... Yeah, considering that, if he can smash all the walls, not just that one for some reason, then it means we don't have to dick around with any of the shooting shit in here. We just need to smash this open. I mean, we don't need to do it for him, but... Really? You can't break... Oh, you can. Because, uh, yeah, as long as we get rid of all of the crap in here that would block Link, we can take him back to the bell, and then we're going to be home free. And we can't fit up here. Okay. I thought I'd make sure, you know. 
Oh, that says, take you back to the bell. Don't get stuck on the wall. Good. Get the crap out of here. I think we're on, like, what, floor three or... F three or two, I want to say. I'm pretty damn sure. We only have, like, one or two more to go before we're back to the bottom. In fact, this might be the bottom. I don't know. Yes, this is. In fact, no, it's not. It's, like, one room away. Because this is the room, yes. This is the one where it had all the weird ticks at the bottom. And we killed one and unlocked the electric fence. Apparently, I didn't even notice there was a bell up there. Okay. Can I activate you from here? Doesn't look like it, unless I just bounced on the wall. I don't really know. Nope, seems like he's too far away. So, given that, we must be able to go up there. I thought this thing only went, you know, down and back up here. But I guess it's got three levels? And I just probably screwed it up by going down to the bottom one for no damn reason. I guess just try pulling it back a couple of times? Because, yeah, there might be another floor up here that I just entirely missed. Because otherwise, like I say, otherwise I don't see how the hell we could possibly be in range to actually activate him. Does it work? Okay, it does! Wow. I completely missed this. Is there anything up here? It's just him. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter that we missed it. Well, that's handy, I suppose. Come, we have much to do. That's a lie. We haven't got much to do. We just need to get in the last bell, I think. God, I hope this is the last bell. Okay, so. I think we want to put it this way? Maybe? Let's go on. Okay, good. I've been real depressed if that whelmed me like up to the ceiling and there was nothing up there. That, that would have really sucked. Because <laughs> this thing takes quite a while to activate. Okay, so. Are all of the goddamn bugs going to be back? And if they are, do we have to kill them again? Well, they are back. Do I have to kill them again again out of the electric fence? If I do, that's kind of sucky. Everything die. Especially you, you little shits. There we go. Come hither onto my hammer. Oh, there's another one of those, uh, da Okay, we do. There's another one of those Dalek things over there, so we'll try smashing that. I mean, the last one didn't do anything. But you never know, there might be more pressure plates and stuff hidden under them. And there is at least one thing in this room that we still haven't got to. Which is the pole behind the, uh... The gate, but like I say, I think now that we have the dungeon now and we know what it does, we can probably just activate one of those uh, weight thingies up on the top and just drop it down to the pressure plate. I would imagine. So yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, there could be something hidden under here. We'll give it a try just in case. Any booty? No, oh god, that is not booty. That's a bunch of freaking spider things. What the hell? Get out of here! Yeah, hammer time. Get. Okay, it's dead. Really? No booty? I got ripped off. Okay, well, either way, finally we got him to the bell. So, yeah, I do believe this should be the last room I would... Oh, get on chance. I would imagine out here... In fact, look at the map. Maybe we do have more to go. I don't know. We've got arrows. Hey, and we're back to full HP. That makes me happy. So, yeah, look at the map. This doesn't look like the first room, but I can't remember what else we went through. I guess we did. I don't remember any of this. Oh, now I do. Yeah, we're not even close to being done yet. <laughs> we're on, like, floor two. I guess we're not. Okay, so this is kind of a problem. How do I get through here? Because, I mean, if we could activate him from the other side, we could get him to come over and smash the wall down, but I don't think we can do that. I don't think he's in range. Uh... I don't know. Yeah, they're not in range either. I mean, there's that stone dude over there, but I don't think he unlocked the gate. We'll try killing him just in case, but I'm pretty damn sure he just gave us the chest behind him that had the map in it. I can't really see. Well, we killed him anyway. Okay, so do you unlock the gate and I'm just an idiot? No. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely the two pressure plates. That makes sense. So what the hell do I do? Oh, there's a grappling hook right above me. Thank God I just saw that. Oh yeah, that's way less complicated than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we can grab you. May as well do that right now. I don't see any point in waiting. And yeah. This might be the last floor before the end. I really cannot remember anymore. I, oh, okay. That was... Oh, God. Apparently, I'm still controlling it. Come, come down here. Now we get out. No, don't get stuck on the wall. What the hell are you doing? Are you drunk? You're drunk again, aren't you? You always come home drunk. Why do you do this to me? I just want a loving family. Okay, seriously, it's a wall, dude. It's a wall. 
Speaking of wolves, at owl. Boom! Yeah. Okay. Well, seems pretty easy to get you to this one. I'm gonna have you smash this down, even though... Yeah, okay, we did already loot that. But, you know, it was fun. Don't think we need anything else around here. You... I said you... Get away from me. Okay, you get in the bill. Is this the last floor? This looks like it might... Yes, this is the, uh, the, the, the crying clown room. Did we make it? Did we finally make it? Hallelujah, it's a miracle! Damn, that was a hell of an escort mission, holy shit. Still, I kind of like that. It was a little bit irritating at parts, but, uh... You know, it was unique. I, I will give them that. It was definitely unique. I kind of enjoyed the fact that we had to backtrack. Even though normally I don't like backtracking, but it was completely different in reverse, because, you know, for a start, it's in reverse. And second of all, we had to do different stuff to get him through there. I like that. Oh, diggity. Okay, so I'm guessing it's boss time. Before we go and do that, you may remember there was two statues at the beginning, and we've seen them all over the game, and we haven't known what to do with them. What did we just get? We got a freaking rod that allows us to move statues. I can only assume this is what we need to actually finally move those damn things. And unless I'm remembering wrong, they also do have the holes in their chest like the other stuff. Which seems to be the way we control them, I don't really know, but uh... Yeah, I'm guessing this is gonna allow us to move these dudes. And they do indeed have holes in their chests. I wonder if we can control those stone guardians behind us? I doubt it because they don't seem to have the holes, but it's worth the try. They look almost like owl statues. Maybe that's what they're meant to be? I mean, there was like a talking owl in Ocarina of Time or in the Temple of Time. It makes a degree of sense to me. Bro, there's a pole behind here. And now you're dead. That was very strange. Oh, I forgot to do it. Your soul is mine. There you go, you're welcome. Oh, yes. Really, is that all that's in here? A freaking pole? I got ripped off. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay, well, once we're here, can I indeed control you? I doubt it, but it would be awesome. Can I, can I control? No, I can't. Damn it. I mean, it won't make much sense, like, why would we need them, but... Still, it would be cool. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of the other weird owl thingy-majigger. And... Oh, there's a bug there. I thought I could hear, like, the glistening sound. Yoink! Okay, so what are you? Oh, you're a snail. Oh, wait a minute! We got a snail in the sacred grove just outside of the Master Sword area, so I'm guessing that's the, uh, the matching pair. And we get... Hey, we got the second heart piece. Good. Okay. So, yeah, I'm trying... I'm, like, racking my brain trying to think of any other statues or anything we couldn't activate before that we might be able to get something with now. I can't think of anything. So, I guess it's boss time? I mean, this must be the boss. This might be like another half of the dungeon. But this dungeon's already taken quite a while, so I would imagine we just have the boss left. But who knows? It could be bloody gigantic. But yeah, like I say, very cool dungeon. I like it. I wouldn't say... And again, we haven't even fought the boss yet. We might not be done yet. But my review of it... What the hell? Well, well. Welcome back. Without further ado, we're off. Are we off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz? Because, 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 the wonderful Wizard of Oz... Eh, yeah, probably not. And by the way, it just occurred to me that Okoko, Okuko, whatever it's called, has like weird nipples going on. It's kind of freaky. Freaky baby. This is a lovely room of death. Once again, parts of this dungeon really... Re Look at that shit! If that don't remind you of Sen's Fortress, I don't know what does. And again, there are lizard men everywhere. I'm not saying Dark Souls copied this, but at this point, I would be very surprised if they didn't at least take some kind of influence from this dungeon, because it just seems too coincidental. Lizard men everywhere, swinging blades and traps and shits. That is Sen's Fortress in a nutshell. No, this is Sen's Fortress in a nutshell. Help, how did I get into this nutshell? Etc. Austin Powers quote. Hey, I actually got him. This surprises the hell out of me. Jump. Okay, we made it. Good. This, uh... This is like, it, it really is Sen's Fortress. But in Zelda. And that's kind of awesome. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna need this thing like, oh, good lord. Why else would it be there? So what do we need it for? Hey, oh, there's a pressure plate right there. Okay, oh, yeah! Where's my way gear? It's on the blade. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Careful. Just, just, just put on the thing, man. 
What do you do? Are you up in that? Ah. We need a key there. That looks like the boss door, and we don't have the boss key. Unless I'm tripping, and I just don't remember it happening, but, uh... Yeah! I don't know where we could have missed it. I don't think we have missed it. So maybe, like, oh no, a Coco's gonna pop up and be like, I had the key all along! I, I really hope so, because... Yeah. There's a fairy. Do I need you? Well, we could get rid of the soup, I guess. But, you know, screw it. We, we, I'd rather just keep the soup. I think it restores eight. I'm sure that's what fairies do anyway. Maybe fairies fully restore you, but I'm sure it's not. Yeah, we don't have the boss key. And nothing's happening. Well, shit. Okay, well, I guess give me... In fact, wait a minute. How long have I been recording? Oh, damn, I've been recording for a while. Okay, well, considering that, I guess I'm going to end it here. Next time, I'll bring it back in when I figure out where we're missing the boss key. We'll grab it and then take on the bus. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. I'll like, and I'll see you next time for more Twilight Princess.